Hello, my name is Brandon Huggins, and I'll be talking about the Pearls of Wisdom, the geometry and topology of weavables, wearables, and wallpaper, which was originally uh, presented by Professor Elisabetta Matsumoto. Video is by Brandon Huggins. So, <clears throat> the first thing we went over was different types of symmetry. As you can see here, depending on the shape, there are different um, uh, lines of symmetry that can be drawn. Now here you've got the standard x and y axis, but here you can see that they're also folded in the uh, triangular sides shape so they can be folded kind of in a diamond direction. And here you see along every vertice of each star point you can draw a line. There is also rotational symmetry where you have a single shape and you can rotate it along a around a center point. As you see here, it started here around the center point. Now, not all symmetry is perfect, though it's in lots of different things. As you can see, these zebras, they're symmetrical here, the shape, but then you've got a dislocation here where the, uh, the pattern goes into a point. And then over here, you have a disclination where the pattern evolves into a different pattern, which you can see up here. Now, this uh, disclinations and dislocations are used commonly in wear, such as for this dress, you see that it looks like you've got the symmetrical pattern up here and down here of these boxes. But as it comes down to the center, uh, you notice that it still looks symmetrical, but that's actually because these, the pattern folds inwards uh, to account for the curves of the human body to allow for the pattern to look symmetrical from a forward point of view. You can see that again here in the uh, C3PO and R2D2 uh, heads, where if you go to the back, you see how there is a cut right in the middle to account for the hourglass shape of the human body, um, where they actually come in a little bit and uh, get a little bit smaller. So. One of the things we learned in uh, uh, Dr. Matsumoto's presentation was Euler's formula, where you have the faces minus the edges plus the vertices equals two minus two times the number of holes in the shape. So for a simple cube where there are no holes, you know that it will always equal two because zero holes, t zero holes times two is zero, making equal two. So you can look, there are uh, six faces of the cube with eight vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 12 edges, that would be these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Uh, and when you add them and subtract them together, you get two because there are no holes in the shape. Now. This is very useful in making textiles or during knitting to make sure that you do not have any holes in your finished product or so that you have the correct number of holes in your finished product when you are done. So thank you very much for listening. Uh, and uh, this was the Pearls of Wisdom, Geometry and Topology of Weavables, Wearables, and Wallpaper. Thank you very much. Have a good day.